Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game Got Fluent, bringing you episode 58 of Let's Play Alif, the hardcore D&D style open world CRPG built miraculously in RPG Maker. We're about 33, right on the dot, into this game, according to this time limit. Um, wow, okay, so last episode we found some cool stuff. We found the ring suppression. We found the fond. <laughs> we found the um, the axe, which I don't know if she can use. Uh, it doesn't look like it. You can use Straichi's Tvark now, though. That's interesting. But we're gonna stick with Man, Man Eater for that instant death. But today, we're on L5. I don't actually remember what we were doing. Um. Hmm. We just hit the Empathy on K-12. We're on L5. Um... Whoops. Uh, looks like we're just going to explore a bit. I think we were just exploring. And if I, we'll just go by the cartography spell and see exactly. Let's see. Hmm. Excuse me. All oh, right, there was that woodland fort type thing here, right here. It's actually a graveyard. We can explore that, although I don't know if there's anything really for me here. I mean, we can't explore it, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then I think after this, we were going to the east, or to the west, actually. So, it's coming back to me a bit. First, first time I'm playing today, which is surprising, because I've been playing about, you know, several episodes a day, or a few. And um, this is just my first today, so... Got a little immediate rust. Beak Star Rocks. Um, even Lost. Yeah, I think this is just ultimately going to be a sort of graveyard for backers. Backers from Kickstarter. So I don't think... There's really going to be ne necessarily anything for us here, but we can look around. I don't, you know, I don't want to preemptively say that. And then there'd be some, uh, you know, legendary item laying about here. Um. Fighting like everything here. Wow, they gotta jump on us. Dang! The headless. There we are. Just a level 8 headless. There's a crit for you, headless. Your headless a second time. Alright. 53 XP, 71 gold, and the usual stuff we get from Undead. I'm level 58, a lot there's 56, we have to level up again sometime soon. Um, death Cap. Uh, yeah. At least this will give me some time to look in this corner of the graveyard, unmolested, as it were. Noise. Yeah, um, 89 XP, 120 gold. Cursed Flesh and a Potion of Great Health. I'll call out the unique stuff. Gravestone, what, Wrath of the Angels. His parents were not creative folks. X-File. Yeah, I don't really see anything here. Even Lost. Mr. Satu. Satau. Mr. Potato Man, Bunny Cat G. I mean, there probably is. Or, I shouldn't say there probably is. There might be something to those. Like, one of them you can press a button or something or, or loot it. 
but um, I'm not going to mess with that right now. So we were heading, I think, to the west. <sighs> Let me see here. Um... Was it to the east? There was a shimmering mirror somewhere around here that we were tinkering with. Bear with me, guys. Okay, so we're at the edge of this screen. Yeah, I, I remember looking for that. I thought it was a fortress, but it turned out to be the graveyard. Um. K5, like, we're gonna be up against rocks here. Oh, right, okay, I wanted to go through the, through the, uh, all the way west through that, um, opening. Got it. So pretty much can follow the rocks here. And just relax and enjoy. Boom, boom. And we're going to head right through. Not that opening. I think it's this opening. And then we're going to go oh, north. <sighs> um, just doing meteors and... Wow. It's the biggest counter we've ever done, I think. Cool. 100 XP, 116 gold. You know the stuff they drop by now. But we were doing some exploring like this, and I would like to continue that when not being harassed by monsters. J5, okay. If we walk through, we won't ref uh, wrangle up all the monsters kind of have a relaxing look at things. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to see, though. I don't know if I need to boost, boost my uh, brightness a little bit. I think it probably wouldn't hurt. <clears throat> now it's actually a little bit easier to see, I think, with the sun down and the moon out. See, then we don't have to run, and we're getting in battles we don't want to get into. Let's see. If we come up here, there's something to the right. The rocks kind of go inward to the east. Somewhere up here. What is that? Death camp? Yeah. Is this the place? I think so. It almost looks like there's a town there. Hmm, next map, I guess. J4. I don't remember ever being up this high. Especially in the J's. <clears throat> but correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. Alright, let's 
see where we're actually heading here. Okay, so we are in that little hollowed out hollow, but there doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait, are we in the hollow? Oh, there's something up here. For sure. Wow. What do we have here? We've got sapphire, medium gold urn, angel quartz, ruby, Platinum ingot, sapphire, star iron ingot. Extinguished candle, gold candlestick. Hmm. Tattered banner. Large throne. Star iron helm. A helmet made of star iron plate mail. The back of the helmet extends to the shoulder so that the wearer's neck is protected. A large throne. Spilled goblet. Pernock. An ancient maze crafted by the Hail Gear Magi. The weapon saps a foe's MP and focus. Oh, that should come in handy if we choose to use it. Spilled goblet. Royalty. Priest. Priest. Dang. Elegant chair. Oh, someone was really living it up up here as a boss. Let's check out Pernock. Wow, 158. I need a drink of water. I'm thirsty. Um, one second, guys. Bear with me here. Okay, so Pernock. But he's using the counterattack. Hmm. See, I, if I remember that I have all these Mage Bane type weapons, <clears throat> you know, we can use them when we need them. Excuse me. Um. Like, you know, fighting against certain different challenges. We could essentially take care of mages or, you know, dragons or things that would give us a hard time casting. We can combine our different type of, I call them mage bane weapons or items, but things designed to take out mages and spellcasters. 76 XP, 76 gold. Excuse me. Bunch of hides, Sir Cuthbert's level 54, Eris is 61. So it was already worth coming up here for that. But um, I think that's just the beginning of what we're going to find because... Um, yeah, I might have to turn my brightness up a little bit, guys. Because uh, I recalibrated my screen and I think the brightness was a little bit low. One second. Alright, let's try this. Let's see if this helps at all. We're going to save here. Yeah, this helps bunches. I just raised it a couple points. Um, so yeah, we're heading still north. Let's actually check the cartography and see what we can find about over here. Wow. Oh, does this go north to the strange cabin? I have been here. J3, right. Hmm. How far north of the strange cabin have I been? Huh. And that's the town of Resch, I think. Or no. Oh. Now I'm not so confident because I'm like, I've been here before. But most importantly, I don't think I can get to my goals going this way. Like, one goal would be D7, uh, um, one goal would be G8 
for wisdom, the wisdom uh Um Aleph. And if we come this way, I for oh it's Brookhaven, okay. And what can we do from Brookhaven exactly? Go west, that's a graveyard, I think. I don't see any... Hmm. Well, I'm going to learn this route. And if it doesn't work, we can return to Brookhaven. But I'm going to follow the road. Six, six death caps in that combat. I'm going to make sure to pay attention to this road here. Oops. Hmm. He faked me out. So, if I go west from Brookhaven, would I be able to get to D7 or G8 from the north? I think I might be able to. Six XP, hundred fifty gold. Run, 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 run. There we go. Okay, so across the bridge. And south. Eventually. But we have a few leads in this area. We can go north, possibly, of the strange cabin, although I think I have been there. I-5. Alright. Something tells me this is not going to work. Let's go around this and get on the road and go across the bridge south of here. The sort of binding can be anywhere around. H5. Also could have a sort of binding laying around somewhere. There's the road. Let me cartography eyes from here. Yeah, I think we're in good... a good position if we go south here. And... I literally forgot what I was looking at. Do we follow the road? No, we can cut through and go southeast. I think. Pickaxe. Um, let's go south of this rock formation.
Whoa. G5. Should we, wait a minute. I want to check the north of this rock formation, but should we go to the south and go to G8 from here for the Wisdom Aleph? Well, it looks like we're not going any higher right here. See if I can go south. What? Iron spear, splint, bandages, feathers. And a snake ambushed us. Which was kind of creepy. And there's nothing else here. Hmm. G6. Torch. Moldy bread. Rope. Lamp oil, lamp oil. Small harpy statue, we needed that. Lamp oil. I don't see anything else here. Okay. G6, let's go down another one to G7. Let's see where we are at the map. So the, if you want to make it to somewhere in this game like without just randomly checking around, you're going to have to use cartography and you're going to have to use the map. And we are in a prime location right here, guys for exploration. Like I have gotten extremely blessed to be where we're at right now because we are going to be going into um, super prime new territory. So strap on in gonna get exciting I think um, it, pretty exciting already I'd say but yes we want to go left here or actually yeah mm, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute yeah I have been here, but we have never gone northwest from here. Are we on G8 or G7? G7, okay. So let's just make sure we're still... Okay. I don't know if we can get the G8 from here to where the Aleph is. Fifty one on the X vertice, so it would be to the west. See you guys. Oh, why can't I get to G8 Wisdom from G9 Airmen or something? Or was it G9 Arma? It seems that I'm trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, but there, mu there was a much easier way of doing it. Looks like I'm. We're gonna be finding the uh, 
Wisdom Aleph here. Oh no. Rocks. No, not the rocks. I will fight you, Ogre. Let's see how f high these Ogres level up to. 25, so... At some point, Ogres get pretty... weak towards us. Five XP under 15 gold, ham cider, ham cider, spider web, level 59, a lot there's 57, and we have the Aleph of Wisdom. Cool, so let's save and um, go ahead and look at my stats. Does the whole party get this boat, the boon? I'm not sure. Or is it just me? I think it's just me. So. Okay, there's our stats. I'm just looking at the top six, really. You guys are free to look at the rest of them, too. Um, a woman's pleasant voice echoes through your head. Your mind is as sharp as any blade, and you have trained it well, seer. For this, I grant you a portion of my power. Use it well. The seer is now blessed by the Aleph of Wisdom. Did I get more evasion? More magic evasion? More intelligence. I got 14 points of intelligence, I think. I think that was a 141. Cool. Alrighty. Awesome. Now let's go and mark this off on the uh, Aleph on my list here, which you guys probably can't see. Wisdom. Okay, now from here... Let's head to D7 for the first fragment. And keep make build on this nice progress. Because as I said, we are in a prime time area here. Um Yes, 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 yes. Let's go north. Northwest is the call of the day. Um, are we stuck in here? Yeah. And there's nothing here, right? Okay. Alright, this is awesome. Seven, we can probably poke around a little bit. Over in this direction. Hmm. All right, let's try this. D7 should be right over here. Honestly. Right after F and E. Let's 
that was an enemy. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Let's cartographerize. Okay. Okay, we could go back. Yeah, we don't want to go there yet. Let's come over this way. We should be able to get to D7. E7. And I like being around these, some of the maps that we've explored already because you can like explore new parts of them. Oh, and we hit the wall. All right, let's see where we are at on the, on the wall here. Okay, no biggie. Yeah, we can get to D7. We can go south. And I can always transport back to Brookhaven, which is the jump off spot for the good exploration now. We can get to where we want to go by Brookhaven. E8. Hmm. Just exploring a bit. Okay, we're going around. D8. Oh, I think we found D7's uh, scrap, but that's okay. We can mark it off either way. Yeah, I remember being here because I can hear the water. We're, we're near Knight's Landing, which is D9. Is it? Oh, ginseng. Alright, finally made it to D7, anyway. On purpose. Um, let's mark the Aleph. First segment. 53, alright. Northwest. Yeah, I'm almost certain we found this piece. Um, weird flowers. Is there an ogre in your flowers? What do you do? Alright. Wind elementals, huh? Yo, no we did not find it. Crunchian, a rectangular platform meant for eating off of. Well, look at this. A 
Another fragment of annihilation. Bunch of death caps. A cauldron. I did miss it. I was at this beach and everything. I was at this point. Exploring. And I missed that. Wow. Alright, cool. So now that's like the sixth piece of the Scroll of Annihilation that we kind of found. Fifth or sixth. Let's go mark it off the first segment. And all that's left is the second segment at E2. The Junkie Rods are also up at E2. And, um... Yeah. We've got six of the pieces. Um... Temperance, G15, I don't know, Piety. Yeah, Piety, our Piety is good, B1, but that's way up there, B1. We've never been that high. Alright, now, what I'm going to do is uh, save. And rather than run back, I'm going to use the map. Excuse me. Head to Brookhaven. Nice. Um, so from here, <coughs> let's see. We want to go southwest across the bridge. If I get to C8 Simultus along these lines, I will also go ahead and do that dungeon. We could really just follow the road if we want essentially the same path we just walked that whole way. H4. I am curious, though. Okay, there's a graveyard here, I guess, then. a group group text where is that graveyard Calm down, fellas. Okay, I think I explored this graveyard ultimately. Yeah, there was liches and stuff in it. The first time I came through. And isn't there a shimmering crystal over this way? Maybe not, but let's just continue our exploration. G4. Okay, this is a different area. Um, definitely something different here. Or 
Are we going to cross over into the swamp? And have we ever been on G3? G3 might be the only snow place we've been, actually. I do not remember this, though. I'm just exploring. Ice elementals? <laughs> you overshot your target, buddy. Still got us. Alright, well, let's fight a, an ice elemental. Level 35. Can't really hurt us. Too bad. And we'll not get the chance to. 44 XP, 47 gold, ice essence. Oh, we could use the frost leaves, I think. I don't know if we can still use them. <clears throat> Just, I would be surprised if there's nothing at all on this map. Because there would be no reason to come up here and explore G3. So it's not a matter of if something's on this map, I believe it's where is something on this map. But finding the where is always the tricky bit. Two Groodfoss. Oh, our first Wendigo. Or did we fight a Wendigo before? Level 61. Alright, let's take this somewhat kind of seriously a little bit. Frozen Crush. Groot Frost. Huh. That should warm you up. Okay. Hundred twenty four XP, hundred thirty five gold, frost leaf mead, frost leaf mead, hide and hide. Again, just exploring. Not sure what we're hoping to find. Bone fragments. Bone fragments. Bone fragments. Bone fragments and a teddy bear. You mean to tell me... I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, it's different, but there's nothing else up here but a teddy, a teddy bear? Nothing hidden over here? No ring? Wow. Thought for sure I found something. I guess we did find something, a teddy bear. Okay. It is something. <laughs> hey, five of those teddy bears makes one of the most powerful runes. What was that? Harvestable tree. What kind of tree does it have? Log. Okay. F3, wow. We're way up there. And this is brand spanking new. We can get to E2 from here. Oh yes, oh yes. Um. If I go directly south, there's a ruin down there.
There's a frost leaf. Oops. Very cool. This has been a very productive episode. I mean, every episode is productive, really, because even if we don't find what we're looking for, we find where it's not, and that's just as important. 44 XP, 47 gold, Ice Essence Frost Leaf, Sir Cuthbert's level 53, 55. Look at this ice flow. I guess we're not getting past this. Another frost leaf. Yeah, I don't think we're getting past this, so. Might as well do our business up here that we have in the in the high numbers at least. Two Wendigos. I don't know if they're Wendigo or Wendigo. Two Wendigo. Oh my gosh, Wendigos everywhere. Along with ice elementals. Frost leaves everywhere. Arctic wolves. Just exploring. <laughs> wow. It's kind of like playing a high stakes game of tag or something. Alright, now we're on E3. Wow. Let's take a minute to savor this and also see what's near us in terms of locations. We've played 47 minutes, so we have to wrap it up, but um, in this area, we could find Piety. We can go to B1. Uh, Blasphemous is A1. The second segment, the last segment of the Scroll of Annihilation is on E2. The Dungeon Blight is on F4. That's what was on F4. Um... And the junky rods, which we haven't seen, we we've known of their, we've known of them since the beginning of the game, and have never found them. They are on E2 as well. So lots to find here next time, guys. I hope you join me for that, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you guys and gals for spending some time with me. Uh, next time we will go ahead and in fact keep exploring in this area and. find some surprises i'm sure so hope to see you guys then much love peace and joy bye bye y'all